Hi everyone, this is uh, Ailing here from SingaporeOlevelMax.com. Today I'm going to share with you something from Additional Math on uh, graph sketching of a modulus function. This morning I received an email from a student asking me about how we can sketch a modulus graph. So before I go into sharing some of the tips and steps, let us just recap on some of the basic things. For example, do you know how to sketch a straight line? What are the things that you need? First thing first, you will need an equation. And it will be best if the equation was given to you in the form of the standard form y equals to mx plus c. Next, you need to find out what is the x-intercept by setting y equals to 0 and what is the y-intercept by setting your x to be equals to 0. Let us move on to the next type of graph that you will be expected to draw. The other kind of graph is called a quadratic graph. Usually the equation will be great if it is given in the form of y equals to ax square plus bx plus c. What are the things that you need to sketch this graph? Once again, just like straight line, you need an equation of course. You need a x-intercept followed by the y-intercept. Now, for this last part here on quadratic graph, uh, the last thing that you will need is perhaps a turning point. It will really be good if you can find a turning point of a quadratic graph. So I'm going to show you an example of a question on how we can draw our modulus graph. Let's take a look at this example here. Sketch y goes to mark 3x minus 2. So what is the first step that we should do? Now perhaps let me just... Um, share with you what, what I have seen from my students um, how they actually initial initially how they actually draw a modulus graph they actually do a point to point plot and that is totally unnecessary when the question asks for sketch if it's a sketch or modulus graph the first thing that you want to do is just basically remove the modulus sign and after you remove the modulus sign this is a straight line so we find two points your y intercept and your x-intercept and that will be sufficient that is sufficient so with these two points we are able to draw y equals to 3x minus 2 which is shown in the next diagram so this is the graph that I have drawn using my tablet PC I mean tablet laptop so you, you can see that I have put down the x-intercept and the y-intercept now how do we get this graph to be what the question wants how basically which means to say how do we draw a modulus graph what you want to do is the definition of mod the understanding of mod it just means you flip the negative portion of this graph upwards so this portion that you see I, I, I'm, I'm bringing to your attention this part will go up here let's take a look at the next diagram to have a clearer picture so if you notice something our negative 2 goes up to 2 so the red graph that you see over here right, is um, what the modulus graph is all about. I'm going to um, take a few seconds to actually elaborate a little bit more. Um, do you know what is the equation of each part of the graph? Graph number one and portion number two. I'll, I'll call it part one and part two. Now, for part one of part two of the graph, is the easier one is three. Sorry, y equals to three x minus two. Alright, it was basically the graph uh, that we draw without the modular sign. Now, for part 1 of the graph, the, it has the equation of y equals to negative of 3x minus 2, which will give us negative 3x plus 2. So this is some additional information that I thought would be useful for you to be aware of. Um, I realized many of my students wasn't sure of each of the equation for each part of the graph. Let us move on to the next example. 
Now this time round, you see that um, the question is basically the same. However, we have a boundary conditions that is included. That is, um, they want you to just show the section of the graph between x minus 1 to 1. And you, you realize the steps involved are basically the same. However, there's one more point that you need to include. And what is that point? It's just to do with the boundary condition. What you need to find out is what will be the value of your y when x is minus 1? What will be the value of your y when x is equal to 1? This will define the boundary condition for us to draw our graph. Let's take a look at the diagram. Now, comparing to the previous one that I, I actually drawn, you notice that the only div is we have included our boundary. This is what the boundary is all about. I included the value of dy in this diagram. This is definitely not the answer for the question because this is just the graph without the mock sign. So right now, if we want to have the modulus graph, we do exactly the same thing. We flip the negative portion of this graph upwards. Alright, so this is what we have. The blue graph is my final modulus graph, consisting of the boundary conditions of x from minus 1 to 1. I hope you have found the um, steps useful and my drawing as well as a step-by-step -step approach for you to actually understand better. So as usual, I would like to actually end off this video with a bonus question for you. Now what happens if the question asks us to sketch y equals to negative mod 3x minus 2? I have actually um, come up with the procedure, the steps that you need to go through the flow. So we start off with 1 without the mock sign and to get to the mock graph we just simply flip the negative portion of the graph upwards. Now the question is how do we get from a mock graph to a negative mock graph? So that is the big question mark for you to think about. You can leave the, our answer in the comment section and I look forward from hearing from you. Thank you.